Hey you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back. Of course I'm back, I'm not going anywhere. Beast. I'm YouTube famous now. Available in 2019, the album, Dad F. Rock on gold dust woman. How are you guys doing? Well, I have been gone over here for the last couple days. Um, I have not felt great. I have been a little bit under the weather, so I just took a couple days off. I have been watching Dragula on Netflix and um, catching up with all of that. But this has been a video that I have wanted to make for the last couple of days. I'm gonna put my fan down because it's a little bit more serious, but I do have some things to say today, so uh, let me lube it up. Speaking of lube, <laughs> speaking of lube, if you didn't see my sponsored video that I did for Adam and Eve, um, I have a code over at Adam and Eve, it is Peter, and you get 50% off and free shipping your very first item, so go over there, I think I'll put it up here somewhere, to go over there and buy some Christmas presents for you and your partner and yourself or whatever. Ever. They have some great things over there. They have all kinds of fun stuff. They have games for couples. They have presents that you can give people. So anyway, go over there and check out adamandeve.com and I will put the link below. Um, okay, so let's talk about Gabby Hanna. Now I did a video, I think it was my last video that I did, uh, where I talked about Shane Dawson and his new series, or his new series, his series that he has been doing with Jeffree Star, and a lot of people are upset that he's only gonna put out one more episode. I have a feeling that that episode will be out tomorrow because he said this week that the last episode will be out today. If it's not gonna be out tomorrow, it'll be out today, so by the time you're seeing this video, it's probably already out. But I have a feeling he will post it on Friday. Um, I will be doing my reaction to that video. But in that video, I asked if people wanted to hear me talk about the whole Gabby Hanna situation. And I got an overwhelming um, amount of responses from people saying, please do a video about a Gabby Hanna. We wanna know what you think about this, blah, 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 whatever. So since um, that day, a lot has unfolded. And I really wanted to kind of just get on here and say my two cents, but you know, I kept on getting pulled in all these different directions about what I thought. I didn't know really if I, if I had a clear idea of what I thought. Um, my opinion changed a lot as things happened. So what I think would be best is if I just kind of explain to you uh, my experience of going through what happened um, with the Gabby Hanna situation recently. Now, I will tell you um, that I have personally talked to Gabby in the past, and I'm going to, I'm not going to talk about a lot of what we talked about, but um, that does kind of play out into this a little bit. So I, I want to talk about that in a second, because Gabby in our conversation, when I talked to her on the phone, and we had a very, very lengthy conversation. Um, she said something about a couple people in there that because I was talking to her and she was somebody that I liked at the time and she was somebody I trusted and this was the one and only phone call that we ever had um, I took that to be truth um, and now in retrospect because that what she told me really greatly affected how I looked at that person going forward or those people going forward um, I now in retrospect am like well maybe I wasn't fair to those people um, and I think that that is very much the whole the, the deal with social media and YouTube and whatever and I, I've said this for a while I think YouTube is made up of a bunch of snakes on the train, okay? Snakes on the plane, so to speak. And I really, really do. Um, I, I think that, uh, I, now I have met some YouTubers, I have to be honest, that have never spoken about another YouTuber, never said anything critical about another YouTuber. Manny in UA, I, I mean, I, I've spoken to him several times. He's never once, even when given the opportunity, even when given the opportunity, has never once said anything negative about somebody else. Um, Loie Lane, Loie Bug has never said anything negative about somebody else to me, and Amelia Fart never did. Now, I have to say that I've met with other people, and they have said this or said that, that could really skew your feelings about somebody. And this is the thing, okay? Having, you know, been in the hot seat myself before, and so to speak, um, I'm not so sure that the whole takeaway for me with the Gabby Hanna thing is um, about let's just make her be, let's look at her and say that she's the most horrible person in the entire world. For me, like, there's no learning experience from that, okay? There's no, on the other side of that, there's no learning lesson for me on that, right? So for me, the reason why I call this video Dear Gabby, Hannah, is because I really want Gabby to learn from this experience. And I really think that this whole experience that is being presented to her right now is an opportunity for change. It doesn't necessarily appear to me that she's taking that opportunity for change, but that's what this is, okay? Um, and whether she chooses to acknowledge that and learn from this experience or whether she doesn't is on her. Um, I also have to say that one of the reasons why this was difficult for me is that, you know, like, 
and, and, and I'm not exclusive to anybody on YouTube. I mean, obviously, Gabby reached out to a subscriber so or a fan of somebody else's. So I'm sure she's reached out to a lot of people in the past, right? As many of these influencers do. Uh, it, is it just because they want to talk? Is it because they are trying to ma manipulate the situation? Who knows? I don't know, right? Um, all I know is that I, it, I'm not alone in that, like, I, and I'm not throwing that out to say, like, oh, look at me, I'm special, I talk to these people. It has nothing to do with that. In fact, I haven't talked to another, like, big influencer in quite some time, and quite frankly, I prefer to leave it that way. I want to be able to come on here and give my, you know, opinion and not be swayed one way or the other by a friendship that I have with somebody that's, you know, on that level or whatever. I just want to be able to come on here and say my piece. So, anyway, um, what happened was... Gabby Hanna put out this statement on YouTube, I th or on Instagram and Snapchat maybe, um, responding to this video that Trisha Paytas did, if I understand things correctly, okay? And Trisha Paytas made this video. Now, if you haven't watched my channel for a while, you know that I have decided to not make any videos about Trisha Paytas, but because she plays into this whole situation, I'm gonna talk about her in um, this whole situation. But not the drama surrounding her or anything, whatever. I just wanna talk about her in the situation because um, when I saw this all go down, I first watched Gabby Hanna's story, okay? And that's important because when I watched her story, I immediately took the side of Gabby and believed her because she just seemed so authentic and she seemed so genuine. And I was like, oh, wow, like she's really hurt by this whole thing. Oh, but she's living her best life, blah, 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 which is something that continues to come out time and time again. Then I went and watched Trisha Paytas' video literally five minutes later, and I was like, okay, now, I have watched Trisha Paytas going on, you know, several years now, and I think you can, we can tell watching Trisha whether it's kind of a trolling kind of situation or whether she's really heated, and she was really heated in this video, okay? And if, you've, if you haven't watched the video, there are some iconic statements, yes, but there's a lot of truth to what she said in there, too. And, you know, one of the things that I really liked about Trisha's video, in, in all honesty, okay, um, and this is standing on the outside, being objective, looking forward, is that at the end of the video, she said something to the effect of, and I'm not going to pull up receipts and all that kind of stuff. I, I was thinking about doing all that. And I thought, just get on there and give your opinion. When um, at the very end, she said something about like, you know, you know, I, I don't have a lot of friends and I'm looking at to, to figure out why that is. I suggest you do the same thing. Maybe you need to figure out why people don't trust you and people want to be around you. And I thought that that was a really big statement for Trisha to say, you know, to, for Trisha to come kind of full circle and own some of her stuff, but then also say, you know, get off of my back porch. You go deal with your shit. You know what I mean? So I was kind of like, okay. And I watched that video and I saw a different side and I have to say at that point, then I was kind of like, okay, Gabby, what's going on here? Right now, regarding the allegations with with uh, Trisha Paytas and Gabby Hanna, and Gabby supposedly telling Jason um, things that were not true, that she had heard through the grapevine about, um, uh, about Trisha's health status and things like that. Okay, first of all, we need to talk about this, okay? Now, there is an unwritten code, and I, I don't know if this is just me, and I'm 47 and part of the LGBTQIA plus community, um, but you know, like, this was something that I learned very early coming out, and I, I guess maybe we need to re-educate people on that. Other people's health status is none of our, is none of our business, unless they sh choose to share that with us, right? You know, like, that's not something that you do. You don't just go and share somebody's health status with them, right? And that, to me, is, I just, it's, it's beyond kind of bizarre and weird, to be honest. Like, you know, and so I thought about it because I was like, well, what would I do in that situation if I speculated that a friend of mine, like, let's just, let's have the conversation. Let's have the conversation. Let's just not say it's wrong. Let's have it. And I, I thought to myself, and I was talking to a couple of friends of mine, and I, and I, they said, you know, like, well, what would you do in that situation? In that situation, I think what I would have done, had I been Gabby, what is, I would have reached out to Trisha Paytas and I would have said, hey, listen, I want to let you know what people are saying about you. This is what somebody brought to me. Whether you like me or not, whether we're friends or not, I think you need to know what people are saying about you. And if it's true, it concerns me for my friend Jason. I just want to put that out there for you. If you say something to him, I don't feel like I need to. But where can, where does it stop that we can't have adult conversations with each other about issues that are really, really serious? Okay, these are serious, serious situations here, you know? So, like, that whole situation to me was so, it just, 
I don't know. It just looked bad. And then Gabby didn't come out really and say anything. She just started posting all over Twitter. I'm living my best life. I'm with my boyfriend and whatever. And if you went underneath the Twitter threads, people were literally letting her have it. Okay. They're like, you're deflecting, you're deflecting, you're doing this or whatever. One of the things, and I have said this for a long time, okay, is that when somebody tells you that they are not bothered or acts as if they're not bothered or indirectly through their actions is telling you that they are not bothered, they are bothered. They are really, really bothered by what is going on, okay? Let me tell you something. I, after three years of being on YouTube, there have been moments, trust me, okay? There have been moments that I have been really, really, really bothered, okay? Super bothered. Um, and because things that have happened, have it's been personal. It's, it's hurt. It's felt really super personal. It's hurt me. I saw that in Trisha's video. I did not see that anywhere coming from Gabby. And the fact that she didn't see that there was anything wrong with this, and she wants to come out and say, well, I was concerned about my being a friend, whatever. Okay, that's when you stop, maybe, and you stop this. You know, when things have happened to me in the past, like, I've tried. <sighs> there have been moments, okay, that I have taken to live streams that I shouldn't have. There have been moments when I have said things on social media that I shouldn't have. And I'm trying to learn from that. I'm trying to be a better person today, okay? You don't take to an Instagram story for 10 minutes and 300 Instagram story posts, okay? Explaining away your side and sitting on a couch talking about how great your life is now and blah, 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 whatever. And you did the right thing and you did it because you cared about your friend. Okay, listen. That's the moment when maybe you shut your mouth. I'm just saying, you know? And I have to say this. I was watching this whole thing because then she talked, we're going to talk about this, uh, Jesse Smiles saying, I was watching this reaction video that Smokey Glow did. And Smokey Glow said something in there that I thought was really, really important. She said, you know, we, I think we've all had falling outs with really good friends of ours. And she gives an example of where she had this friendship of seven years and it fell apart and whatever. And they said a lot of cruel things to each other. I think we've all been there. Okay. But to take it to the public forum, why? Like, why is that necessary? Like, that is not necessary. We don't need to do that. Right. Have we done it in one way or another? Yes. Can we learn from that as we move forward? Sure. And that's what I'm saying about this whole thing. Like, why can we not see this as a learning experience, okay? So, this is the deal. Gabby doesn't come around. She doesn't address any of it. She doesn't say anything about it. She just is living her best life. So then Jesse smiles. Now, I don't know Jesse smiles, okay? But apparently, every one of my good jitties watches her. I didn't know anything about her until all this went down. So Jesse Smiles comes out with this video called Gabby Hannah Needs to be Stopped or something, right? And she goes in there and she talks about them being really good friends and all this kind of stuff. We already know all this stuff that happened, okay, in there. And um, she goes in there and she talks about the, the, the very serious situation that happened with her and that Gabby was aware of it. The very real, okay, scary situation that happened with her. Um, and th that when later they were having a conversation, Gabby said something to her about like that didn't happen. Okay, let me tell you something right here. Okay? I'm not talking about no YouTube friends that you've never met in your entire life. I'm not talking about whatever. Okay? I'm talking about friends. Real friends that would have your back. Anybody that says that to you, anybody that says that to you is not your friend. Okay? When you are sharing your heart and soul with somebody and they say, oh, that didn't happen, that person is not your friend. That person does not have your best interest in mind. That person is not protective of you. That person doesn't care about you. That person doesn't see you as a human being, okay? They don't. What that person is is an opportunist, and they are only using you as a stepping stool to get where they want to get next, which we then saw, okay, with Alex James, because Alex James came out. If you don't know Alex James, the minor, hilarious, right? He was very, very close with Gabby Hanna. And apparently they have this falling out. So now, okay, there's all of these ex-friends that are coming out and they're saying this about Gabby and they're saying that about Gabby and all this kind of stuff. Not to mention, okay, to get it back to the Jesse Smiles thing. And I know everybody's made videos about this, so I don't feel like I need to get in and get the receipts. Hold on just a second. First of all, my last, my, my biggest problem <laughs> was right before I watched this video, okay? I went and watched As Told by Kenya's video about Gabby Hanna called Gabby Hanna get, needs to get a job. <laughs> you want to get lit up about this topic, go watch that video. But she said a lot of things that were really true in there. Okay. So, uh, Je so Gabby Hanna, I'm like, so, I'm like, what is going on with these people? I'm so baffled by this, okay? So, Gabby Hanna reaches out to a fan of Jesse Smiles 
and has a conversation with her in DMs about very personal things that only she would know because she was best friends with Jesse Smiles. What? <laughs> no, Tati, no. What? That is crazy town, okay? That is crazy town. And do not come for me and say that I am belittling mental health by saying something about crazy town, okay? Listen, that, that's crazy town. I'm sorry, okay? Like, that is beyond. Like, where you would ever think that that was okay. But I'm watching that and I'm thinking to myself, wow, that's interesting because Gabby reached out to me when she was going through the drama with these brush sets that she was selling. Now, if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, okay, there was this drama about a year and a half ago with these brush sets that uh, Gabby was did a collaboration with or whatever and you like signed up for it and you got them free and everybody came for her. And I can remember at the time, she was like, I don't know how I'm going to ever get through this. Like, this is like the biggest drama in the, that's ever come. No, it sure was. I, those brushes weren't nothing compared to this. I'm just saying, okay? But, you know, I felt bad for her because she reached out to me. Um, and she said to me, you know, like, hey, can you talk? I need some suggestions on this. So we talked, okay? We talked. Well, she talked. She talked for a long time. You think I could talk? She could talk, okay? We had a nice conversation. I like Gabby. I like her music. At that point, I didn't know any of this kind of stuff about her. You know, I liked her. I was like, okay. And I have to say, like, I don't look at all this stuff and say, Gabby Hanna is this um, horrible, nasty, terrible person. Like, I don't look at her that way, okay? Do I think she needs to reflect on her life and take a look at it? Sure, absolutely. As do a lot of us. As did I. As have I in the last year, Okay. So anyway, we talked on the phone, and I'm telling you, on that phone conversation, she had a lot to say about a lot of influencers out there. Big influencers, okay? I mean, really damaging, discrediting things about these people. And because I trusted her who she was, this is why you should never trust anything that somebody says to you in a video on YouTube or as a YouTuber or whatever, because you don't know their intentions and you don't know their motives, okay? There's been a lot of SHI toot out there said about me that had no bearing in fact whatsoever, and people believed it and still do to this day, and that's crap, okay? But I sat there and I listened to her, and it really changed my opinion about some people. It really, really did. And now I'm sitting there and I'm thinking to myself, what if there was no truth to what she said? What if it was all just fabricated? Like, I don't know. You know what I mean? And I have to say, like, I, and just to be fully transparent, you know, she's had so much to say in the past about this, these people and this people. She did a video that really helped me like a year ago or two years ago about friends that did her wrong. If you've ever seen it, it's a great video that friends that like they all moved to LA and then they didn't help her anymore and stuff. Like it really helped me, okay, in my personal life. And I reached out to her. And I think that's when she and I like talked for the first time. It really helped me, you know? And in fact, after this Trisha Paytas thing went down, before I watched Trisha's video and after I watched Gabby's thing, I tweet, I direct messaged her and I said, this is your time. Like, I'm just saying, this is your time to do a tell-all on everything behind the YouTube scene because I thought she had her finger on the pulse of what was going on YouTube. Little did I know she was making up this stuff to completely just fit her narrative. I had no clue. This is not a good look, okay? Not whatsoever. And then Alex James, the Viner, comes out and talks about all these things that he did to help her and how she... Uh, go watch his video, too. You need to go watch all the videos. So, anyway, she put out this two... Okay. <laughs> Oh my God, she put out on Twitter these two, here, I'll put them here and here. If I, well, I'll put them somewhere up here, okay? These two paragraphs, somebody referred to it as an essay. Essay, book report, okay? One to Dear Jesse, and one to Dear this a girl that's a subscriber who supposedly is like 15 years old. Like, I'm so baffled by any of this, okay? And she doesn't take any responsibility whatsoever. I read them word for word. No responsibility does she take for any of them, okay? At the end of Jesse, she said, I wish the best for you always. And at the end of the other girl, she says, I'm sorry that you got pulled into this. You got pulled into it because you pulled her into it, okay? She doesn't apologize for any of it, right? You know, and like, there's been something on my channel for a long time. As a person in sobriety, I've been sober for 24 years and 11 months. Um, you know, we don't say I'm sorry a lot because the word I'm sorry doesn't mean a whole lot to anybody. They want to see a change in action, so we make amends, right? But I've learned something in the last year. I've learned that there are people out there, whether you believe in it or not, they need to hear you say I'm sorry, okay? And I owe an I'm sorry to a lot of people, and there's been some people that I've reached out to and some people that I still am in this year you know for things that I've done I, listen it's not 
Girl, you just need to get, I don't understand this two-page essay, okay? So here's my advice to Gabby Hanna. You can't run from this. It's not going away. You need to de deal with it, okay? And when I reached out to her and said you're going to do a tell-all or whatever, she said at that point she's going to do it in a podcast. I'm like, a podcast? Trisha Payne has put out a video. You need to do a video. This is, this is your life. YouTube is your life. You need to do it in a YouTube video. But you don't need to do it until you can sit down and be authentic and own your shit. That period in the story, okay? And what you need to say in the video is this. Let me script it for you. And if you can't get here yet, then you need to wait and stop putting out how you're in such a great space in your life. You need to say, I was a SHI took friend, okay? I didn't treat you well. I could have done better. I could have been a better friend to you, and I'm working on it. I want to be a better person going forward. I want to look at these things. I want to see this as an opportunity for growth. Gabby, this is your opportunity for growth handed to you on a silver platter. Okay, this is three or four people coming to you. And now there's all of these allegations coming out of things that she said and done, whatever. These are people coming to you and saying, here, this is who you are. Alex James video was actually very nice saying, this is who you are. This is who you've been for quite some time. If you want to change, here's your opportunity. Okay. But to just ignore it and act like these people are crazy and I'm at the best point of my life in the entire world, that ain't cutting it. Like that's just not it. Right. And at the end of the day, I really don't think that Gabby is. Like I said, I don't think she's a bad person. I honestly, I don't even think she's aware of what she's doing. I really don't, you know? Sometimes you have to sit on the other side and look at stuff for a while and go, you know, I really need to take a look at this. You know, the last year for me has been a year of complete inventory and evaluation of who I was as a person and who I want to be going forward. And, you know, there was a lot that came out that maybe I didn't want to take a look at. You know what I mean? When I sat down with my counselor and my sponsor and people and I sat there and I looked at things and I thought to myself, is this really who I am? Okay, this is who I am. Who do I want to be going forward, right? It, do I want to be that person? Gabby, this is your opportunity. We all have these moments, okay? Gabby, you're not a horrible person. You're not the worst person out there. I know people are canceling you left and right, and they're writing you off, and they're saying whatever, you're a horrible person. No, you can come back from all of this, but you can't ignore it because you cannot ignore the lessons in life because lessons will be repeated until they are learned. And what is happening to you right now is that lessons are being repeated over and over and over. It's right in your face. So you can believe that you're the greatest friend in the entire world, but maybe you hurt these people on some level. Maybe that's what you need to take a look at, you know? Not just your truth versus their truth. Who cares about all that? At the end of the day, who cares? I've said this a lot in my Peterisms videos lately. It'd be really easy for me to get on video and say, let me tell you about this person. Let me tell you about that person. Let me tell you what this person did. Let me tell you about all their wrongs. Let me tell you about all this kind of stuff, right? But that takes away from me focusing on me. I've only got one life. This is not a dress rehearsal, okay? I want to focus on me. This is your opportunity to focus on you. I suggest you take it because things aren't going to get better if they don't. So anyway, that's my two cents. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.